The Minnesota Fighting Vikings always should and could be looking for offensive line depth, and it's even better uh, when it's a local product. The pride of Brainerd, Minnesota, Joe Haig, uh, is suddenly on the free agent market after being released uh, by the Cleveland Browns, uh, and they're potentially clearing up some cap space for DeAndre Hopkins. Mm, ma- makes sense. But, of course, you know, Quasi and Andrew Berry going way back like chiropractic uh, could have the inside scoop on Joe Haig and potentially bringing him into the fold in the purple would make a ton of sense, especially since he looks like the logo. No big deal. Mm. So let's talk about the pride of Brainerd, Minnesota today. Uh, background, 30 years young, 6'6", six, six, 304, uh, you know, formerly of uh, the aforementioned Brainerd uh, as well as played ball at NDSU. Now, we have Joe Haig to blame for Carson Wentz. All right, so it was Hag's excellent protection for the NDSU Bison that allowed Wentz to be the number two overall pick and subject us to Wentz time for a number of years. It, it happens, man. But uh, played well at NDSU, was a five-time national champion. Uh, he, he was on the Van Wilder plan even before uh, the Rona, before it was cool. Uh, back And then uh, was a 2016 fifth-round pick by the Colts. Uh, started right away as a rookie, right out of the gates, uh, playing a mixture of right tackle and right guard. Uh, went to the Bucks in 2020. Uh, won a Super Bowl. Uh, his one year uh, in Tampa Bay with a tall and freaking Brady. Almost caught a Super Bowl touchdown pass. From Tom Brady uh, in the 31 to nine route of the Chiefs, so he would fit right in, all right, just just like almost doing big things in the Super Bowl. But he actually won one, so that's always good, man. Uh, signed with the Steelers in 2021, and then ended up with the Browns in 2022 uh, before uh, ending the season on injured reserve. Uh, overall, he's played 80 career games, 40 career starts over seven seasons. Can play four spots: a left tackle, left guard, right guard, or right tackle. Uh, best position is probably right guard, uh, but he certainly brings uh, veteran versatility uh, to the offensive line. And the Vikings, I mean, the offensive line. There, there seem to be good to go. So, Darisaw, Ezra, Bradbury, Ed Ingram, and Brian O'Neill. Now, I'm not saying that Joe Hag is going to come in and start, uh, but ha- adding him as a veteran versatile uh, backup would make a ton of sense here. Where I mean, the Vikings, they do have Brandle, they do have Schlutman, who they believe in a lot. Uh, Chris Reed, Ole Udo, solid. Uh, but beyond that, I mean, you have some dart throws with uh, Josh Sokol, uh, last year's UDFA out of Sacred Hot. Uh, Vidarian Lowe, last year's uh, th- day three left tackle pick out of Illinois. Jackie Chen, our guy, Alan Ali, uh, Sam uh, Schluter as well. So uh, this would make sense where... Generally, teams go into training camp with 15 offensive linemen. Uh, so, bringing Hag on a minimal one-year deal, it's probably what he's going to get in free agency at this point. Uh, would I mean, uh, it's it's a zero-risk, high-upside spot where you know Joe Hag could make the 53-man rooster, uh, could provide some solid veteran backup depth, uh, and uh, if you need someone to st- uh, start in a pinch, he certainly is capable of that. And it, of course, it's just a bonus uh, that he is a local product done good. So. Uh, the Vikings need to sign a recently released offensive lineman Joe Hag. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want we'll to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo as well as check out the store, purpleftw.net. Links below. But until next time, Skull Production Value.